Hey, right, what's going on? It's Tim Shrek House. Hey, brothers, press, press. In the garage, once again, what's this? This is the top to this Boxster. All right, so I've got the Boxster uh, top off. I've got it set on uh, my rack. This is my Stanley little workbench. This is my rolling workbench. I want to show you some of the tools I've been using to get this done. I have gone along now and stitched along the top of the seam of the new plastic, which is going to be great once we get it installed. And um, I've got the needle coming through right now, and I've got about, I don't know, from here to here. <laughs> so this is the starting point. It is a long process. Um, but do it, you know, it's a heck of a lot easier than shelling out 3,000 bucks for a new glass top. Um, I found this to be a helpful tool. So this is a Dremel and it's got a minuscule bit on it and um, this has been a sort of uh, savior for me so what I do is I turn this on and I um, pop it through just here if you notice it's about the same size as the needle so it's about needle thickness a very small bit and I've been able to pop it through run the thread, thread through and I've also been using this pliers to do that. I haven't found the thimble to be much use of anything, so you can see that I can pull it through, go around the other side, and pull it out. And once I have that pulled tight, I grab that, find the next hole, somewhere around here. And you can actually, since it's dremeled already, you can see the holes. That's why I have the light down below, so that you can see the little holes poking through, or here. So, once you get that in there, go to the other side, and we're going to pull this through and boom done next one so i do about three holes at a time with the dremel notice that i've got it in there hopefully it came through the right place if it didn't it should be close but this is the most challenging part of all this is that trying to get the holes to line up so you can see i've got it poked through here and like i say it's tight still um gonna go back and in between there's a little lip here. I'm gonna fill that with some, uh, this stuff here. So this is the RTV black adhesive Permatex, which I'm gonna try to um, go ahead and get that put in there. And I think what I also did was I cut this larger than it needs to be. This is a, I don't know what it is, 0.042 mil vinyl. If you get into it, you'll find the specs. I don't have the specs right in front of me. And I taped it and I cut it larger than it needs to be because I can always trim it later. And I definitely didn't want to have one too small. So I'm going to pull it tight across the front and the back. Like I said, I've got this laid out. This is a movable. And I found that by putting a, a prop here from the ground, I just cut this to size so that this was tight because the rest of it will support itself. But this is the part that actually needs to be suspended higher so what i did was i took a it's actually a fence you know one of these fence wood and i just put it on the chop saw chopped it popped it on there and put a light down below i had these other lights here which i've been going in and out of tools trying to figure out the best way to do that and that's why i stopped to tell you i think i found it you know now that i've done a <coughs> an hour's worth of work i'm an expert right so anyway um <clears throat> i have done sewing before in the past that's one thing i thought about if you've never sewed anything even a button on a shirt this probably isn't the project for you but if you feel relatively competent and these stitchings are <clears throat> okay so so um, I was more concerned about getting it placed in there if you can see the new plastic up against the canvas um, to give you a little frame of reference the old glass is sitting right here and isn't it lovely so we've got totally crappy blacked out glass which looks like crap and that was on there I'm gonna put the brand new um, vinyl glass here now by comparison this cost under 50 bucks this Boxster has when I bought it from got it from I traded actually for the um, this car the previous owner said I just put a new top on with a glass back window cost me three thousand dollars okay 3050 bucks. So you choose. This one's my brother's car. Um, so he's putting the bill for the materials and time. And we're going to go ahead and get this done and see how it turns out. I mean, worst case scenario, just 
buy one of these replacement vinyl tops vary anywhere from a hundred to four hundred dollars um and put that one on instead okay so that's the method i found to be pretty good this little dremel tool it's a it's actually a harbor freight tool but um just pop that on and you can only go a little bit at a time because you don't want that plastic lifting up and then your holes don't align so i've been doing about one two three drills and i put the finger on the other side and you have to be very careful you don't drill through um, but I haven't found the thimble to be much use at all, so I pretty much just go through with that, and it's been working well. Light underneath for the purpose of seeing the holes um, that are on here, okay? So I got to call that a day, and thanks for watching. If you like this uh, info and you got Boxsters 944s, 924s, that's what we're working on. There's my collection right there. You can see that the 944 has been painted, and we're going to get that polished up. Boxsters coming along quite nicely. I've got a few things to do on that. my Boxster and we'll be moving right along on a project. Thanks for watching. This is Tim Truck Hospitals. Have a good one.